Hi there, my name is Brooke Darlington. Today we are in Linux, Linux for some people. I always say Linux because I just love the word Linux. Linux sounds so mean. Linux sounds so, so sweet, so lovable. So to me it's Linux, okay? So and today I'm going to show you the very best screen recorder for Linux. And when I'm talking about the screen recorder, I'm talking about a screen recorder that will make perfect recordings of whatever you're doing. And you know, when finishing the project, after a couple of seconds, your file will be ready out there on your desktop or in your movie folder, ready to be uploaded to your YouTube. However, if you want to go and make intros and outros, of course you will have to do some converting because MKV is not really uh, a, a, a used file in Windows and in um, Mac video world. Up there we deal with MOF and with MP4. In fact, Mac and Windows both can handle MP4 just fine, you know, so in fact, after that you might want to make uh, mp4 file from the mk we will do the recording of how to get the best video screen recorder for your linux machine in a screen capture recorder that is called record my desktop and record my desktop is in fact also a very good screen recorder because that you will see this video that you know will show how to get the best screen recorder. It's called Simple Screen Recorder. It's from Martin Bart, so thumbs up there, Martin. You know, um, this screen recorder will be uh, kind of the thing that you will start using because the one that you can download from the store um, is very good. Only thing is that it will render the project after you hit the stop button so if you recorded a video of 15 minutes and you hit stop it will then start to render the project and that goes kind of not so fast huh? so if you're like in a hurry then i would choose for a simple screen recorder because that one finishes uh, the video immediately after you know you hit stop but we will also find out that if we uh, uh, in, in fact select to create the mp4 because we can in the exporting select what we want to create so we could also create for instance a mp4 with a simple screen recorder but then you will see that it takes a long time when the file is done to be rendered to kind of the file that you need it will then you know um, uh, take way longer but with the mk uh, MK, MK v file it's done instantly it's like almost in you know sometimes the video is really long if you record a 30 minutes of video it might take one minute to you know to to finish the icon so you you know the icon changes from white to um, to the picture that is the, the representing the video okay let's not make this video any longer um, let's just jump in the project we're gonna jump into our linux mint desktop but this is also for um ubuntu based uh, linux distribution so if you're on ubuntu you can also get this if you're on lubuntu kubuntu you know these things you can also get simple screen recorder from martin bart so i think this is a fantastic review that we're making about this uh, program because you get it to see to work we will we're also i'm not only going to show you how to install it also going to show you how it works and uh, you know so you can get even more inspiration to start doing your projects immediately hello youtube welcome in my linux machine linux so we're gonna uh, install a screen capture software program one that uh, is way faster with making the end product than for instance this one that we're recording with right now also very good recorder but you must have time and you must have a strong machine if you want it to go fast because after this uh, recording 
it will you know uh, step by step go and you know create the video file from this what we're recording right now so um, yeah that will take a long time before it will be usable after installing Kodi yesterday also via the terminal we also will install the very best uh, screen capture software for Linux uh, the same way so we will first go to the internet and we will uh, search for simple screen recorder Linux download and here you will see it it's from Martin Bartje and what we will do is we will just scroll down here you can see how it works etc etc and here you have the popular lines that we also used yesterday in our um, installing of Kodi so we will go back to the terminal today and uh, we will just copy this line here we double click copy paste password there you go hit enter now we go for the second line sudo app get the update we paste it you can also type it if you want if you like typing you can start copying this one <clears throat> so you'll be ready to paste it boom there we go simple screen recorder and we will also add the last line that is if you want to record 32-bit OpenGL applications on a 64-bit system I don't think it will hurt to install it up here you will see that it's kinda busy still just wait and in fact now your simple screen recorder is installed if you go and look for it simple screen recorder you can see it there you see that it's installed now we're just going to give it some extra functionality so we get the whole picture and not just uh, something that won't be there after the recording so now we just hit exit and we just installed simple screen recorder what's the difference with simple screen recorder because it's really fast and because it's really easy uh, we will take a quick look at this uh, little beautiful app of Martin Baird. So we're gonna hit continue here. If you're also on a MacBook just like me, you know you must uh, select here your Alsa and the source. Um, I would go for. You could try the default source and make a recording. To see just how it works uh, we we go we continue next continue up here you must select a location where you want to do it so let's say we're gonna do it in videos we just hit save in videos and we give it a name testing simple screen recorder S S S R. here we can choose the codec for this mp3 I will, I will just not touch this up here you can also select mp4 I did not do that yet I left it yesterday on uh, M cafe and I just uh, copied the file to my MacBook it was a file from 60 megabytes uh, 8 minutes video desktop recording um, and I just converted it with um, some app that I use in my Mac it's called video blend already made a video about how good video blend is for Mac users that also edit in iMovie you know to get the videos of a different uh, extension ready to be edited in um, iMovie you will need to convert this file however I never created an mp4 file so it could be that the mp4 file would also work just fine so let's do a test recording so are you ready 
okay so we're making a test recording now we're making two screen recordings now <laughs> this is kind of crazy but uh, we're in uh, Linux Linux Mint 17 and we're testing simple screen recorder okay so now we hit save recording and you will see the recorder recording is being saved now um, we saved to our movies uh, the folder our movies so let's go into our home folder as you can see Linux works just like um, in Mac and Windows and I think in my videos I I made the test right was it not this video and when you see that uh, the icon is still uh, not showing the picture it means that in fact it's rendering the project because you see uh, GS streamer blah 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 but this will just take a second normally it's it would be finished long time already but yeah we choose for mp4 so probably it's now kind of really busy with yeah recording making the recording to mp4 so let's take a look what happens if we do it in mkfe so um, we say new profile alsa default yeah this is all good because we will need the microphone to work we will put this back on mkfe and then we hit continue we make a second recording testing one two three four this is recording number two simple screen recorder and uh, we're recording in 1280 by 800 that is HD ready so let's just save the recording now save it and there you can see the MK Faith uh, is made instantly as you can hear we hear no sound so we did something wrong here in the settings so maybe we should just check pulse audio and then continue uh, yes okay testing one two one two three four five animo 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 and then we save the recording so uh, that should be this one and it could also be that our sound now is in use by um, by this app that I'm using right now so that could also be the case built in audio analog stereo I would go for this one peeps that's what I choose yesterday I think now it's gonna work one two three four five testing the microphone and i think these are the right settings for this uh for this book to get microphone sound into the recording let's see if it works well my volume was kind of off so you know the sound was playing but you could not hear it so it did record fine because after i finished the video i checked the files again that we played and they were or that we recorded and they were playing fine so this works you just got to find the right settings for you that you can like get to the microphone and that the recording of the sound is also being you know added to the video so that's it peeps this is the very very best screen capture recorder you can get for Linux it's not uh, out there in the app stores in the software center but this is the way how you can get it uh, from Martin Bart so uh, thumbs up there for Martin Bart great uh, job there having the screen uh, uh, recorder for us out there uh, available to use completely free it's just as good and maybe even better than Camtasia and all these others that cost money um, and also I want you to know that if you're on a Mac 
you know, the, the, the video file that it will create will be the MPV file, will be the best choice for you to go for it. Because MPV, it will have to render it to MP4, and it takes a long time to render a MPV to MP4, a OG, OGV file, you know, um, that you create with the one that comes out of the App Store, you know, that one is kind of easier to convert to mp4 because i always like to make an mp4 end product so in this case also um i took the the mkv file put copied it to my mac and in my mac with video blend i just you know uh, created the mp4 file when that was done i imported it into my you know my phone so i can go ahead and edit it and add you know some effects to it the intro or outro and of course this recording afterwards after the video that i just combined with the video again so this works you can combine a um, normal video that you recorded with the cam and of course desktop recordings and you can combine them together but that is of course video editing and that has nothing to do with the recording itself this is the very best screen recorder that you can get for linux it's free and um yeah thumbs up there for you all trying and uh you're yeah, also looking to find your way into linux and to show off these little things that you're doing you know uh, on your YouTube or Facebook, this is of course the best way to do it with simple screen recorder. Peeps, thanks again for watching. I wish you a fantastic Sunday. Weather is beautiful here in Holland, so it's time to get out of the house and uh, yeah, see you again in my next adventure.